Today we're going to talk about how to get high contrast themes on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. So you can put themes onto your Samsung Galaxy phone. There is a theme store and so you can add themes that will change like the icons, the way your menus look, the way your dial pad looks, your text messaging. It'll change a lot of aspects of the phone which might make these things easier for you to use if you get the right theme that works the best for you. Well, there are actually high contrast themes that you can put on your phone and I thought today I would show you how to do it. All right, before we get started, just for a little bit of reference, I'm gonna be showing this on my Samsung Galaxy S10. I am running Android 11 and One UI 3.1. Now I'm gonna show you where you can access these high contrast themes through the accessibility settings, but if it's not there on your version of Android or your version of Samsung Galaxy phone, that's okay. I'm gonna show you another way to get that through the theme store, to find those high contrast themes through the theme store, which you will be able to do. Okay, first things first, we need to go to accessibility, and then we're going to go to the visibility enhancements, and right at the top, high contrast themes. I'm gonna click on that, and this brings us into a page that shows three different themes. The first one is no theme at all, the second one is a yellow high contrast theme, and the third is a blue high contrast theme. If I click on the yellow high contrast theme, it basically jumps me into the theme store and takes me into the page for this particular theme. In here I can get information about the theme, including pictures, which is really helpful. If I click on one of the pictures, it shows it to me full screen. The one that really, for me personally, is most important is the notification drawer here. And this shows how the theme will affect these quick toggles, quick settings toggles. I personally like it when it's very clear if a toggle is turned on or if it's turned off. And this one here, this is the yellow theme. This is very clear. It's bright yellow if the toggle is on and it's basically grayed out if the toggle is off. So we can go back and if we like this theme, we can click apply at the bottom. We're gonna go back though one more and to where our themes are located here and let's check out the blue theme. And it looks very similar, it just has blue instead of yellow. I'm gonna go back to that yellow though and let's go ahead and apply this. First we need to download, so I'm going to click download down at the bottom. And it downloaded very, very quickly and now it says apply. I'm going to click apply. Okay, applying the theme turned off my screen recording so I started it back up again and now the theme has been applied and you can see the yellow in the quick toggles here. I really like that. I think that that works really well for me. So that's how you get the high contrast themes. Now, what if those themes aren't located in the accessibility settings on your phone? That's no problem. If you start from the Samsung One UI home screen here, if I press and hold anywhere on the screen that's not a widget or anything, it brings open our little menu here for customizing the home screen, and down at the bottom you'll see themes. If I click onto that, that takes me into the themes store. Uh, this is actually themes, wallpapers, icons, you can, you can get a lot of things here to customize your phone. But we want to look specifically for high contrast, so I'm going to hit the search button up here at the top right, and then I'm going to search for high contrast, which I already did earlier, so I'm just going to click on it again. And this brings up the search results with high contrast, the keywords high contrast. And you'll notice the first two options in the list there, those are the two high contrast, the yellow and the blue that we were looking at earlier in the accessibility settings. So here they are again. This is another way that you can access these particular themes. But here you also see that it has extra ones. Um, the, the two, the yellow and the blue, they're free. Some of these though are paid for themes. You do have to pay them, you do have to buy them. Generally they're only a dollar or two. They don't cost that much. And 
you know, it might be a good option. Even if it is a paid theme, if it's going to help you, it's worth it. That being said, though, <laughs> there are a lot of really good free themes you can get as well. So just kind of look around here. If you see one that you like, just tap on it. And once again, we get some pictures here that we can look at to see how this theme is going to look on our phone. And we can decide if this is going to be the right theme for us. If you like it, you can download it and apply it or purchase it, download and apply it. If you do like high contrast themes, another trick that I would recommend is in the theme store here, click on the search bar and search for certain keywords like black or dark or night. Those keywords will probably give you a lot of really high contrast themes as well. Themes, wallpapers, and icons. But that's it guys. That is how to get high contrast themes on your Samsung Galaxy device. I hope that was helpful. If it was helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel, turn on notifications, hit the like button, share it with all your friends. All of that really helps out the channel and appeases the great algorithm overlords. But thank you very much guys for watching Sam with the Blind Life. I will see you next time.